So today, I'm going to fish with one pole. And I'm gonna change this hook on here. My hooks, there we go. So I'm gonna fish with one pole and I'm gonna give you some how-to, some tips on how to fish neighborhood ponds. So I just got here, it's about uh it's about eight of uh, I think it's about 7:30. 7.30 in the morning, and we're gonna fish neighborhood ponds, right? So I'm gonna give you some tips before I get started. And hopefully we catch something today. So, I'm gonna take my uh, video off here. So today, we're gonna fish the neighborhood. You can see, nice little neighborhood. And we're gonna fish a neighborhood pond. So a neighborhood pond, a lot smaller than a, a lake, a lot smaller than a river, and this is what I do to fish neighborhood ponds. So in a lake, when I fish a lake or a river, right, I look for structure. So I look for uh, timber, fallen trees, we call laydowns. I look for bridge, cut bridge pillars, bridges, um, big huge docks with boats up in them. You can fish the docks. A lot of people uh, drop brushes in there, but fish that hang up on there anyway. So on a pond, I look for similar stuff, right? So what I look for in a pond is, you see that water fountain out there? That's structure. So it's a device at the bottom that's making all that come out. It's a big device out there, that structure. You can toss out there, be fish out there. See this little boat dock right here? Not boat dock, but sorry, little dock. That's structure, right? It's, it's shallow, the water is down, but if it's up, or you can toss it right out in front. You see this concrete slab? That's structure. That slab can go 10 feet out, five feet out. So I, I, I start off a little further out and I work my way back until I find them. They, sometimes they'll be on it. Sometimes they'll be right out in the middle, uh, a little bit off of it. And sometimes they'll be way out there. But what it, as you grow on here, when the algae grow, it attracts the uh, minnows, grubs, things like that, the bait fish. And then what follows the bait fish, the bigger fish, these rocks, that structure. If those rocks are out, of, out there, you see a little tree sticking out right there. All that structure, right? So you just fish around till you find them. And once you find them, especially bluegill, you stay there. And as they die down, you go and try the other side. So, nice little area. We're going to get started, okay? I got my worms. Hopefully they in here. It's a, it's a beautiful Sunday. Very nice out here in Dallas. It's supposed to rain the next... Uh, yeah, here we go. So it's supposed to rain starting today, and it's gonna rain for five days. Uh, so the rain is back. So I'm gonna enjoy the day, and then I'm gonna probably take a break. And once it clears back up, we'll start back up uh, fishing. So, I don't know, I'm about 10 feet away. I already got a bite. Damn. I gotta tighten that drag up. Oh yeah. I'm a little bit of them right here. I'm gonna I'm I'm find them though. I will find them. For sure gonna take me a moment so now I'm gonna toss over this way so it's a little bit in front of that dock right there it's standing up so there we go this is a good one this is a real good one actually this is a sun perch a red breast I think so I'm gonna show you the picture of it I'm gonna show you the video to show you how big it is. Big as my hand. So if you guys can see, big as my hand there. So it's pretty big. That's the first one of the day. 
probably about half a pound. I'm hoping I can catch some of those red ears if I can find them. So this one is uh same same species, same one, same exact fish. And they all are about they all about my hand size. Bigger than my hand actually. So they're pretty good fish. <clears throat> Another they are good fish. I feel I'm gonna be going to Walmart to buy some more worms. Okay. So now I'm gonna to toss over this way. So it's a little bit in front of that dock right there. It's standing up, so. There we go. This is a good one. This is a real good one, actually. This is a sun perch. A red breast, I think. So I'm gonna show you the picture of it. I'm gonna show you the video. To show you how big it is. Big as my hand. So if you guys can see, big as my hand now. It's pretty big. I'm trying to find the shell crackers. Go a little bit deeper. There we go. I came out last night and fish here for the first time in this spot here and warm out. So I did catch shell crackers. I did catch shell crackers the other night. So, uh, so that was uh, pretty cool. And some good one, I caught some good shell crackers too. Some really, really, really good one. So. So he swallowed the hook. Which I got, I got my, uh, my, I got my, uh, need an nose here. And I'm going to see if I can get it out of there with a, I waited a little too long for me to swallow the hook. Good. I might have to. Might have to cut. Oh, I got it. I see it. Yeah. Got it out. And I got my worm. So. 
I'm gonna toss further out from the dock. I just want to see if the, maybe the shell crackers are out that way. Sometimes they might be in deeper water. But a lot of times they'll, 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 uh, a lot of times they'll, uh, they'll spun together, you know. It's a good one. Yeah, so a lot of times they will spawn together, but I'm catching more of these male, these males than anything. So. so they get settled. Just let it sit for a while. If they there. To hit it. If not, you can just move, bring it to you just a little bit, right? Just a couple inches, cause those beds right next to each other. And there we go. And you see, and you see how they pulling. So these are not baby, these are not baby bluegill. These are very, very nice bluegill. Uh, they're big, big bluegill. Eight inches. See that? Nice blue gear. I'm, I'm collecting a lot, and believe me, trust me, you're not out, you're not overfishing this place because it doesn't get fish. So it's best to it's best to take a lot of them out because they get overstocked. So it's best to take a lot of the, lot of the blue gear out of here because they get overstocked, and then. Uh, you can reproduce you know so this is my second day fishing it so you guys that you fish warriors uh so i'm not overfishing it and then what i'm gonna do is actually next month in a couple weeks my wife's birthday we having a big thing for her birthday so i'm gonna have a fish fry for for everybody for the family it's kind of hard it's kind of hard finding another bluegill right now so so uh it's kind of hard finding those blue gear right now so what i'm gonna do is 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 is, is, is uh catch a lot of these big big blue gear i mean kind of hard finding those crappies right now so catch a lot of these big blue gear and uh and we have a blue gear part because these these here they flay like crappies these are they'll flay like a crappie okay i'm gonna go real shallow now because I know his radio is in here, and I'm gonna see if I can find them. I know they're in here because I caught some the other day. I'm I know they're in here because I caught some last night. Not that, yeah. And last night was my first time fishing this pond here and uh this side here i normally go back I got, they got a bigger pond way bigger than this oh yeah see that's some baby ones So I might have to walk around to try to find the shell crackers, but but uh, it's hard to leave when you're catching uh, bluegill the way I'm catching them.
Those are some decent big bluegill. Oh man. Oh yeah. So I don't know what I don't know if I went too shallow. I went deeper. Actually I went about six feet deep. But I'm trying to see if I can locate those red ears. I might have to get down in their bed. There we go. There we go. This is a big bluegill, but it's not a, it's not the, uh, it's not the red ear. I'm trying to find them, y'all. Not the red ear sunfish I'm looking for. The AKA shell cracker, but this will get the job done. Okay, so now I'm gonna toss out this way. Just give it a break over that way. It's in front of that dock. I just want to see. If I can get them, if I can get them all over this place here. This whole area back here could be full of beds, full of, full of bluegill beds. Well, as you can see, as I went further out, it's not biting as fast as it was over there by that dock. There, there we go. Right when I was saying it, I got a bite. Right when I was saying it, I got a bite. It's not a bluegill, it's uh, yeah, same thing. Nice little bluegill. Nice little hand style bluegill. Been here about, for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. Got here at uh, maybe 30 minutes. Got here at 7.36, it's 7.50. <laughs> I got here at 7.36 and it's 7 7.51 and look what I got already look at that so I probably won't be in no more in about two hours baby there and I mean a baby what are you doing out there it's pretty deep out there actually I should have went on that other side before the sun came out just to see if it, any of those red air was over there. It's a good one. This joke was pulling. They, are, they, they, they everywhere. They just stack right here. They literally just stack right there. I was closer, a lot closer. You guys can see there. That was a small piece of worm.
I'm gonna be doing some cleaning, fish cleaning today, and I don't mind. So I caught him real close. Ah, uh, grass. Oh, my line got tangled. I'm gonna actually bring the weight down, son. Too much going on. There we go. I'm catching bluegills the size of baby, uh, some small crappies. See what I'm saying? As soon as it hit the water. I'm gonna I'm 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 flay all of these uh these blue gear. There we go. So, that was on the bottom. I was a little too close. You see all these shells in here? You see, that's what, that's what them uh, red ears be eating. I mean, they everywhere. If you can see them, these little clam, these little clams, they everywhere. Yeah, that sun right here. So I'm going to go back over here. There we go. Son of a bee man. All right, I'm going to try to go seven feet deep. Well, six and a half. Yeah, not seven feet. Seven feet deep. Because I'm fishing with a, I'm fishing with an ugly stick. And it's seven, seven foot even. And uh, that cork's standing up. So, pretty deep out there. So I was catching the bluegill. I'm on the bottom now. I was catching the bluegills in about five foot of water. Yeah, they bite on the bottom too. Bite on the bottom. It doesn't matter.
don't matter to them. <sighs> So as you can see, I haven't I haven't moved uh, basically from the first stop. So like I was telling you guys, when you fish in those neighborhood ponds, the concrete slab will produce. You can fish about six feet away from it, eight feet, 10, 12 feet out. They will come and hang around this right here. They may not be up close or they might be up close early in the morning or the evening time and they might be further out. You can fish those docks right in front of those docks. I haven't even threw out there by that water yet, but I'm getting action here or so, and I only got about another hour to fish, so I'm staying right here in this spot, just to see. It's not, there we go. There we go. It's a big bluegill. It's a decent one, but not a big one. But it's pretty. Oh, it's pretty big. It got bigger as it got closer to me. Hand size. Hand size, pan size. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes. Hmm. So it'll be another good one. Got nothing to brag about. Well, something to brag about, actually. <laughs> another nice one. Getting that grocery run today. Getting that grocery run today, fellas. I only been here four times. I found it about a month ago. My buddy only, uh, reached out to me. And this is my well, actually, today is my fifth day. Yesterday was my fourth day. And probably about uh, two and a half months. So, not coming out a lot, you know. And not catching a lot of fish, you know. There we go. Man, they take off and they are, they are strong. Now this one anywhere else would be a keeper, but I'm gonna toss it back. Oh no, nah, this joke is big. This joke grew up. He grew up when he, when I looked at him. Shell crack. Nah, that's shell crack. Bluegill. Big old bluegill. You gotta, you gotta be careful with them bluegill, they'll get you. They will get you. I still got a lot of worms. Man, that's all right right there. And I got another, another uh, tube over there. So what I'm doing is letting it drop and I'm just tightening the line a little bit and I'm and I'm watching the line like that right there. And I'm watching the line. You know, 
So once the line start moving, you know, it might jerk, it might pop it. It might just take off. You never know. And you uh it's on. So Another monster bluegill. So when you can lip a bluegill, you got a bluegill. Big in my hand there. When you can lip it. Every one I got, I can lip. Every bluegill I got, and I can lip. So letting it drop. And I'm tightening up just a little bit, and you'll see the line, it'll pop or it'll tighten up on you when they take off with it. It might even drop down the slack too, you know. I mean, they came towards you. You can drag it, drag across, there we go. You saw that? You drag it across the beds, and uh, once you drag it across the beds, they'll come and hit it. They don't want anything in their territory right now. So that's uh that's how you do a uh, tight lining for sure. Another mega bluegill. There we go. There we go, folks. A good one. Now I'm biting like a little bit of one. Now I bite like you small. <clears throat> this joke was big and thick. He became a man when I looked at him. He ain't like the other men, you know, but he don't became a man when I looked at him. All right, so just letting it drop. And then, they so aggressive that they hook it themselves. See what I'm saying? They hook it themselves. Now this is a little one. I'll throw him back. Little female look like. Now one shell crack, all big, big, big bluegill. And I mean big one. And I'm gonna go home and play every one of them. There we go. I'm, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna play every, this one I throw back. I'm gonna play every one of them. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Press out. There we go. I'm gonna see if anything can hit right out there. I just don't wanna walk around in the sun, you know. I guess I could have walked over there with them trees that them trees look like a, a tree stone look like something that uh that's in the water when i be watching them guys hold on oh we man you gonna try to be a man huh and you small that's a little red ear little bitty red ear well not a little little but it's a red ear so maybe i might have found them
There we go. I don't know what I got. A bass. I just can't. I just. I always catch a bass when I go out for some reason. I can't get past the bass. Little bass. Back in business. Back, back in business. You see all that grass? They let you know there's a lot of grass out there. And they're just on top of that grass probably. Got beds out there. And he swallowed it. Is it okay with me? Guys, I got my, I got my needle nose. All right, let's see what happened here. Well, I didn't want to go right there, but it's right there, so we'll see what happens. Back in business. Back, back in business. You see all that grass? They let you know there's a lot of grass out there. And they're just on top of that grass probably. Got beds out there. And he swallowed it. Is it okay with me? Guys, I got my, I got my needle nose. That was a little shell cracker. Another little shell cracker. This ain't a little one. It's a nice one right here. That's a nice shell cracker right there see it. It ain't big as those bluegill I'm catching, but it's a good shell cracker. I know some big ones in here, so I'm going to see if I can find them. I might have I might have found the, how to fish for them now. There we go. It got bigger because it, it got closer to the land. He swallowed it too. So I was gonna throw him back, but he probably had to go with me. It's about what's what time it is? 922. If I be leaving here in a minute, I've been out here almost two hours. See a cracker. Actually, look catfish. Look catfish. No, 
Another, another man. Another man. The blue gear. The female blue gear. So I've done really great today. A lot of blue gills, a couple red, two red ears, but mainly all blue gills. I killed them <clears throat> right in this spot right here, right off this, this concrete slab, right out in front of that dock, right in that area, mainly where I cut all my fish at. So I'm about to head out. I'll show you what I caught. I still got, I still got a whole thing of worms in that bag. I didn't finish these up. And I caught half a cooler full of bluegill. So guys, <clears throat> that's my tips for fishing ponds. Just basically look for concrete slabs, little docks. You can look for rocks in the water, trees hanging out like right here. That's that structure out there. That tree that's over there in the water, that structure. Just fish those areas. Fish <clears throat> about, if it's five feet deep right there, then fish about like four feet deep right off the bottom. And them bluegills and stuff will hang out. And then at night, you come out at night with worms or in the morning with, with uh, I mean, minnows. You'll catch a crappie in the same spot, crappies and bass. But again, thanks for watching. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers, man. So if, if you like the video, please subscribe, like, leave a comment. You can like the, uh, you can hit that uh, that bell for notifications for my for my uh, for my videos. But subscribe, please. Like the video, leave comment, and I'm gonna keep videos coming uh, as much as possible. I'm back at work, so. Uh, as much as I can fish, I love the fish. I keep them coming. If you guys keep liking it and keep subscribing, I keep fishing. Peace. When you go back out to one of your private spots and your whole sink, basically, <laughs> basically your whole sink is full of bluegill red ears. Yes, sir. About to clean every one of them. About to clean every... I think that's a red ear... Yup, right here. About to clean every one of these bad babies. And uh, it's going down. When you end up cleaning 75 bluegill, this is what you get. Four big bags. Probably weigh about five pounds. Four bags. And then you got a bowl of flays here. That's what I got, a 75 bluegills.